What makes the Sazerac special for me is it might be the first real cocktail that I learned to love. Drinks are mostly fall into your, your old fashioned style, which are your bitters and brown and stirred drinks, or your sours, which are any, basically any drink with fruit in them. And most people get into drinks through sours because they're more approachable. The Sazerac was the first real classic brown and stirred cocktail cocktail that I, that I learned to love as a bartender. It's just classically New Orleans. Um, I love the flavor. I love the flavor they are saying in the raw whiskey. Um, and it's a, just a beautiful, perfect drink. And, and it's New Orleans. And, and I'm proud to serve this among for the first time. Sazerac is a New Orleans drink. It was invented in New Orleans. And it should be nothing but taste shows bitters. If you use anything else but pastry bitters, it, it goes wrong. And that's the same thing, either, either too much sugar or the wrong bitters. You know, it's, it's a very simple drink to make, which means it's a very simple drink to mess up. All right, making a Sazerac today, first thing you want to do, chill a small glass. We use a little eight ounce mason jars here at 12 mile limit, but you can use a single old fashioned glass or a double old fashioned glass, whatever your preference is. All right, take your mixing glass, you want to get a half ounce of simple syrup, we use a slightly rich simple syrup, about a 60-40 ratio of sugar to water. China nut, we use two ounces of old ogre malt. So I'm gonna measure that out. We measure every time, so we get the same cocktail every time. Simple syrup. And pastry bitters. Three dashes of pastry bitters, the only Name brand product that is definitely necessary for a Sazerac, but we do goose it up with a single dash of Angostura bitters as well. A little aromatic bitters brings a little uh, depth and complexity to your final cocktail. And we have our herbs in a little spray bottle, and so I will spray it, um, four or five sprays in there, and it coats the glass very nicely, and you have the perfect amount of herbs in Spray the drink. Get a freshly cut lemon twist. Put the oil on the uh, rim of the glass so that you get the essence of it twisted over the top of the drink. Discard the lemon twist, and here you have a Sazerac. It's such a delicate drink to make. There's a million ways to make them right, but there's twice as many ways to make them wrong. So it's also a really good barometer for a bartender. If you don't know a bartender and you get a Sazerac, you will know immediately whether that's a bartender that is worth knowing about.